Alright, hi, I'm Jake Rule, and I am here to talk to you guys about a guinea worm disease. Uh, bear with me, I'm not the best artist. Alright, so the guinea worm disease started in Africa, small, poor cities in Africa. First recorded in 1986 with 3.5 million cases, but in 2012 there's only 542. So we're working on it. Good job, UNICEF. Alright, so people get this disease through drinking contaminated water with the guinea worm larva. And the guinea worm larva goes into your stomach, and that's where it grows. Yeah, that's a stomach. Alright, so in about a time frame of a year, this worm grows up to 4 feet long. And it seems really long, but it's true. So after that year, the worm decides it's time to leave the body through red boils in your foot. That's really nasty. So basically, if you see one of these worm head little things poking out of your foot, just try to keep your foot in cold water. That'll usually help for a little bit, but not for long. So some symptoms after one year, because actually you don't see anything for a year, there are really five major symptoms that you'll see. It's fever, rash, vomit, dizziness, and red skin or a boil where the worm actually comes out. Now the good news is there's no long-term damage, so you'll be all right after it's done. The bad news, it does take couple weeks. Now this will be long painful weeks for you and unfortunately the only thing I can really recommend is keeping your foot in cold water, not an open lake or anything, you don't want it to spread. And the other thing you can do is take painkillers. Alright, some tips to prevent this disease are drinking safe water, it's like using a filter. Um, you can maintain a really clean living in environment so you don't want any dirt in your water or anything dangerous like that. Alright, and one more is like what I said before about keeping them away from open water. Okay, so if you or someone you know has a little worm sticking out of their foot, contact UNICEF or CDC. It's super easy. Just Google it. Thanks.